music keeps on entering my writing. Um, and music is an essential sustenance for my life, really. And I suspect that music is probably the most mysterious and universal of all the arts. It's a, it's a total mystery. Uh, so it, it's, it's a constant with me. And um, this following poem from the book All Souls uh, is about listening to music in a place I love, St. Canis's Cathedral in Kilkenny. Beautiful building and a beautiful place for music. Uh, I was there on one late summer's evening to hear a recital by a French uh, concert pianist called Pierre Riache, uh, who was playing, uh, amongst other music, a Beethoven sonata and the slow movement of the pathetique Beethoven sonata. Um, the musical direction for which is adagio cantabile, which means flowing and song-like. Uh, close by, close to me in the audience, there was a woman with a small infant in her arms. And it seemed like a hazardous thing to do to bring a small infant to a concert like that. But actually something happened which was kind of magical uh, when she was uh, in the course of this slow movement. So this is called Adagio Cantabile. When hands touched chords and Beethoven entered the cathedral, the infant might have cried, but did not. The mother lifting it from lap to breast with utter confidence in a music learned by heart and played by ear, like long and wordless looks between rapt lovers, like song replete with tenderness as candlelight in corners, and easeful space within the touched vibrations for counterpointed sighings of content and primal murmurings, gracing ancient air and stone with an intimate authority in which the space, the music, and the child compelled communion, so that mute centuries of dead were eased and recomposed from beds of stone again into warm cradles and breathed with the living in a mystery where every gathered soul again became an infant at the breast, in a cathedral cradled round a font in which the fish of time swims in the ocean of eternity. Outside the windows, enfolding dark, composed a nocturne, like a blessing on a harvest safely home. <laughs> 